I don't know, this seems like a really weird game to record, but at the same time, it's like, I might as well. <laughs> because right now, I just kind of need a little bit of filler stuff, so that way I can get some other videos done, but... This game's actually really fun. <laughs> I kind of already played through all of them, and not really on hard mode, but I finished all of them, and I played some in all night, and had a very painful experience with most of them, so that's why I really wanted to play them on camera. Also, I don't really talk much during this because it takes a lot of focus out of me, and I really I suck at being able to focus on multiple things at one time. Got ADHD, doesn't really matter, but whole point is, is commentating for this game is going to be super painful because it's going to, I have to try to make this as interesting as possible because it's a dancing game where I'm playing a game that is a decades old. It's just a decade. Persona 3 is probably my favorite Persona game. I don't care if people judge me for that opinion. It got really good story. Great characters, even though one of them was a little bit undeveloped. Actually, no, there, there was a full group that was pretty undeveloped, but... The, the story itself is really good, and I love the music. As weird as it gets sometimes, but it's like... It's fitting. And it also sounds really good. Although this game does have, like, the worst remixes out of them all. Like, I think Persona 5 Dancing would be my least favorite out of the three dancing games. But Persona 3 either has really good da um, dancing songs or really bad remixes. Whenever I'm playing a game like this and I'm actually commentating over it, it's really hard for me to actually talk, so... I kind of shorten my sentences by cutting out a few words, and then I also sometimes forget that I'm doing that and then I get used to it. So a really good thing is, um, I'm pretty sure my video recordings will be fine from here on now, but I'm still too afraid to record for one long session because I don't want it to bug up because for some reason this is probably the hardest game that the capture cards ever had to handle. And even though I've tried, I, I usually experiment with Persona 5 Scramble because that's like the highest action game that I have that would probably lower the resolution a lot. But, like, this game for some reason just can't be handled by the capture card. It really doesn't like this game. I'm actually really excited to play Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, and I, I've been waiting to play it for recordings. I've seen a review on it a long time ago, so I won't be like 100% blind. But, like, I barely know what's happening. I just know that Atsuya still remembers his stuff. And uh, Maya obviously doesn't, because of what the ending had. Also, this song is hard. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to talk for this one. But anyways, Persona 2, it's like, such a good game. And the way that it pulls off being a duology, instead of splitting one story into two, it splits... It isn't even split story, it's just two stories being put into one game series. Not series, but basically in one title. I'd love to do a recording of Persona 4 Dancing story, but I already started playing out on my own, and it's really good. <laughs> Which actually surprised me for a dancing game, a spin-off dancing game, it has really good story. Please, please end now. You better end now. I I'm not going to look down because I don't want to get distracted. I could also play through Persona 3 Portable, because I still haven't completely finished that game on my own time. I think I, d I had never even reached um, Aegis yet as a party member. I think the furthest I made it was, um, right now I have Fuka Yamagishi unlocked, so the next full moon boss will would either be the Love Hotel. Wait, actually yeah, it it'll be the Love Hotel, which I haven't reached yet. I... I kind of already know what's going to happen in the portable route. Not not including the story, but the social links as well. And I've already ma maxed out... Dang it. I've already maxed out Akihiko's social link, or Jinpei's. I maxed out Jinpei's social link, like, twice because I've restarted the game. Three times, actually, but once was on my PC and I haven't played it on my PC yet, but... It's a really good game and I really want to record it. Oh dang, I, t I talk too much. I think I can talk now, I think it's barely slow enough, but I really wanted to say this. I think playing Persona 3 Dancing would probably get more views than playing actual Persona 3. If, if Persona 3 wasn't a blind playthrough. Blind playthroughs definitely do get a lot of views. I like levels that have the 
characters move fast. I said characters, I... Keys? I don't know what these are called. Notes. They're called notes. Also, this song is just hilarious. I failed the song, and I had to go through it again. <laughs> what the heck? I'll, I'll come back to this one um, or later. Well, I didn't go back and watch footage on Persona 4 Arena. I did see some dialogue with Narukami and Aegis, and how Narukami comments on her being a wild card. I just think that that's like... Like, even though there's the Q spinoffs, like, which take place in some sort of alternate world, I think it's crazy that there's two wild cards within the same room, basically, at one time. The song was a little bit easier, the notes were slower. I, I prefer it to be faster, not because it's easier, it's just a lot more fun. And satisfying whenever you, like, get to a restful point in the song where it's just like, okay, I can't believe I got past that. It's whatever, like, clump of purple mass I'm seeing because half the time I can't even pay attention to what's on screen. Okay, finger gun pose. I forgot that we did that. I like how the protagonist just stole the spotlight from him. <laughs> Okay, there we go. If I'm correct, it's this remix. That's one of the bad ones that, like, not many people like. I didn't really like it. Actually, I don't really like remixes in general, but, like, sometimes they can end up being pretty good. Sometimes I don't mind them. This one, I was like, okay, I don't really like. I like how his dance move revolves around either shooting himself or using a bat. Actually, what am I talking about? It's probably really easy. You know what's not easy? Talking and doing this right now. I am actually dying right now. I hope that's a stage clear. I don't want to, have to go through that song again. <laughs> okay. I love this song, though. This song is amazing. I'm glad at least one of the credit themes from Persona 3 got in. Alright, I actually really wanted to hear this song, and it's really hard for me to hear anything, so I had to turn down my TV volume. So, um, for this one song, if you hear a echo... That's because I actually turned it up for once. And Persona 1 I haven't been able to play through before. And I'm not sure if uh, there's a different credits theme for the Snow Queen's quest. I do want to play through that game. I actually filmed the first episode of a playthrough for Persona 1. I just have to upload it, but that was a little while ago. And my voice doesn't sound as good as it does now. I mean, it probably sounds the same. At least in this video, because I feel a little dehydrated, so my voice is kind of like down but i'm still trying to talk as loudly as i can because before that was one of my first videos that i filmed so i kind of was a little bit more quieter because i was afraid of other people hearing me but at this point it doesn't really matter who needs thumbs oh my oh wait this thing's not over <laughs> My thumbs hurt so much, or at least my my left my right one. I can't. Oh my gosh! What the heck? What really? Even though Persona Five would be like rank four out of the five games, I guess I actually, yeah, out of the five games that I played a little bit and seen, because I also watched a review on Persona One, and that one I remember a lot more. I'd say Persona Five would be my second least favorite. It's still a really good game. I don't think there's like that much wrong with it, but. It's only above Persona 1, in my opinion. I hope no one, like... I hope this opinion doesn't bite me in the butt in the future. But, like... It's a really good game with amazing music. And, in my opinion, it's, like... Still the... Second to... It's my second to last favorite in terms of, like... Just all the Persona games, not including Eternal Punishment. I haven't played that one, or and I barely remember the review. Okay, I actually passed that one. I'm doing a lot better than I normally do. I guess that's the magic of recording. Also, I, I forgot why I brought up why Persona 5 is my second to least favorite. I, there was an actual reason for that, but that dance made me forget. You might hear a lot of weird cuts and I think about it, because there's a lot of parts where I space out. Also, this is one of the remix that I was talking about where I don't mind them at all. I actually really like this one. It's not my style of music, but at the same time, it's still really well made because it still like has the same emotion to it. I wonder if the Persona 3 protagonist would be really great at dancing in real life. So for anyone that doesn't know, Persona 3 and 5 dancing take place in a dream. While Persona 4 dancing, they dance in the Midnight Channel. They do it in the real world sometimes, but 
they go to some it's called the midnight stage now but it's pretty much the same their shadows they have persona they dance oh yeah okay i was wondering because i i really like the this song or the, the original version i'm not sure if this is a remix i wasn't paying attention but like the way that it sounds and the location that you're in which is the love hotel kind of just like it feels weird Okay, yeah, and while well, on the topic of uh, the characters as a whole, a lot of people don't like the sort of class clown characters or the basically the first male party member that you ever have, which would be Ryuji, Jinpei, and Yosuke. But like, they're one of the best characters, in my opinion. Obviously, people are entitled to their own opinions. I'm not saying that whatever your opinion is is wrong. You don't even have to like the game. Because as much as I like Persona as, and its game series and how much I like what or push people to play it. If you don't like the game, that's kind of fine, because I can understand it. It's a long game, and it's more story-oriented. Some people prefer games for the gameplay. I don't really care about the gameplay, which is why Persona 3 is my favorite game. Because, like, I, I even tell people, like, if you care about gameplay, don't really... I feel like you should still play through Persona 3, because it's, like, a full different experience, but, like, you don't have to play through it again, and you do not have to play through the answer. And even though Yukari for some reason just decided to completely switch around her personalities for like a scene she at least acted in a realistic way even though it wasn't it didn't really feel like her at least it wasn't like it, it was definitely pulled out of nowhere but it wasn't just like an imaginary emotion it's what people experience during grief and sometimes they go a little bit not crazy but they don't think as much whenever things like that happen Especially whenever you have the opportunity to see the person that you're grieving over. Though to be fair, I don't know why everyone just didn't gang up on Yukari whenever they were fighting. And to be fair, like, if they wanted it to be fair, they could have at the very least not fought, but kept Igus and whoever other party member you wanted. Most likely Metis, though, still. Because, like, there, there's no reason for everyone but Yukari to fight each other. And like, I know Mitsuru's like, oh, I, I would have always been by her side no matter what happens. If you wanted to be by her side in that moment, Mitsuru should have definitely, you know, showed her that, hey, what you're doing isn't really right. And this is kind of a stupid idea. That's that's what being there for someone is. Also, I've done this song a lot. That's why it's the only brilliant song that's in All Night. This is one of my favorite songs from the entire series, too. Uh, some of the credit themes just uh, kind of take the cake on my top favorites list, but if we're not including credit themes, then this would probably be like number two. Also not including openings as well. And then Persona 3 Portable's uh, overall theme would definitely take number two. And then Time comes in at three. Yeah, you know what? Persona 3 has really good music. And you, like, I, Hurtful Cry is also one of my top songs. Like, it's really good. But... Is it a good exchange? Is it great enough to ruin the story a little bit of Persona 3 FPS? They could have still implemented it. What is it? And like some massive spoilers for Persona 3 FPS is the, the answer, which is after the journey. And I, I'm going to give some people time to, you know, I'll, I'll just tell people to skip to this timestamp wherever, whatever it's at. It's right there. Basically, they're trapped in some timeline stuff because of the fact that they can't let go of the protagonist's death. So, there sh there's a shadow that develops. It's not like Persona 5 or Persona 4 shadows where it's like their dark inner thoughts. It's more of their not them not being able to let go of the past and it basically trapping them in this timeline where they can't move on in life. So, they literally cannot move on in life because they can't move on emotionally and mentally. Anyways, you end up fighting the Shadow, and it so happens to be a sort of recreation of the Persona 3 protagonist. It's able to switch Personas, specifically to um, the, whatever party members you have equipped at the time, minus Metis, of course, because she didn't know the protagonist. Basically, the Shadow is... Since it came from them, it uses basically a sort of echo of their Personas, kind of like in Persona 2 a little bit. I won't explain what that means, uh, you'll have to play through the game yourself. But, uh, so, say if I had Ken, Yukari, and Akihiko equipped in my party, the shadow would switch between Athena, Caesar, Kalanemi, and Isis, basically. They use Unavoidable Battle, which is the theme for 
whenever you fight any sort of Persona user, including Elizabeth and Strega, so any Persona users that basically fight you. And while I think that it's okay, because it makes sense, it technically is a Persona user, but if they didn't include the whole brawl between the characters, or at the very least between Yukari and I guess, then like they could have used it there because it still would have made sense. The instruments still make sense in the whole thing because she's having to fight the shadow that is like the reason why she can't move on in life, why she doesn't want to be human anymore. I guess technically speaking this game would be spoilers, but like anyone who doesn't play Persona 3 won't understand the spoilers, so I guess it's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna reach feathers no way I'm passing this. It, it was really hard to commentate over that. You know, as the female protagonist, it's really hard to go for a har harem route when, like, half the people are, like, undateable. In quotes. Technically dateable, but also technically not dateable. I think all you have is Akihiko, and I've become really good at explaining games without spoiling them, but sometimes they get carried away and then accidentally, like, spoil them. Cause I, I can I can hide stuff pretty well, but it's really hard for me to, you know, keep thinking. <laughs> My speaking's starting to get a little bit lazy. I think I'm just starting to get not tired but more exhausted because this is probably one of the longest recordings that I've ever done. Also, I I did complete this level, but only in Persona Five dancing, which is kind of funny. You know, what? I will literally just take a pass. I won't even take a stage clear. I'm gonna die. I don't know, I, I can't, I can't even see that. I'm not sure if I'm just a little tired or not, but I literally cannot see that. <laughs> I, I still, I could, I couldn't do the last part. It's not going to be a stage clear, but I'm counting that as a pass. Yeah, I cleared it once at least, but what the heck was that? I think one more, yeah. Technically Persona 5 dancing, but I'll do it here. I really like the beat to this song. I know it's not like everyone's favorite in terms of all the openings, but I like it a lot. And I think it's mostly like this part and then the wake up, get up, get out there is a uh, instrumental in the background in some cases. It doesn't really fit in too well. And I never really minded it. Even whenever people pointed out, I still was like, okay, it's still pretty good. Although it still is my least favorite opening out of the three. <laughs> I feel like if they waited for Royal and Scramble to come out, Persona 5 Dancing would have been a lot of people's favorites because having, um, dang it. Because having music from those games would have been amazing. I mean, with Scramble, I guess there isn't too many. There is like some overall themes, but it's more of like for what you wish for and Axe to Grind and Daredevil too. And even though Persona 5 did have a lot of really good music, I mean, willpower, which feels like it should have been in the game naturally. Though I guess they just wanted to catch you to be a part of the the game without including him. Maybe for obvious reasons, because of the story stuff. Because if you don't know, um, Persona 3 and 5 Dancing have social aspects. Not aspects. They have social times that you can spend with your characters from the game that they come from. Including, their, uh, including the Velvet Room Attendant of the game. This will probably go out after the outro. Actually, I don't even do outros, but um, I'm going to play the song until I get it. And I'm going to show the entire run so that way people can watch it. And if they don't, they can just skip past it or click on a different video. This will be attempt three.
<clears throat> I think that's it. That might be it. That that felt really good. It didn't reach the bar. It was green nearly the entire game. Yes. I am actually excited. I don't usually like even raise my voice at all. That was my phone going off. If you could hear that, but my voice doesn't usually go beyond this robotic tone. <laughs> no joke. That's that's a fun song, but it is hard to even focus. Well, that's the third attempt after the outro, so um, thank you, goodbye, and I am a master at this game who has passed every every level. I genuinely forgot about that. <laughs> I said I would come back to that. Um, well, you see the the outro already went. Uh, yeah. Uh, um. Uh, uh, where, where, right there. <laughs>